can start so we can meet uh, our committee. To The way to start its work. Okay. Chief Burke, are we ready? Yes, Mr. Speaker, we're, we're ready. Okay, let's start. Pursuant to Article 9, Section 16 of the Constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia and Title 3, Section 201 of the Code of the Federated States of Micronesia and as set forth in the official rules of procedure of the Congress, I hereby call the 21st Congress of the Federated States of Micronesia sixth regular session to order, which is being held remotely due to the limitations caused by the COVID-19. Okay, may we all bow our heads for a moment of silent break. Chief Clerk, roll call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Aridos? Yes. Senator Christian? Senator Figuier? Yes. Senator Colon? Yes. Floor Leader Harper? Amen. Senator Gunman? Yes. Vice Speaker Moses, Senator Ned, Senator Balik, present, Senator Berman, Remain. Senator Ramalo, Senator Uruzamal, Senator Wali, yes, Speaker Semina, yes, Mr. Speaker, 10 members are present. We do have a quorum to transact business uh, this morning. Okay. I Members are present. This appointment of committee to wait on the president. With all the respect uh, to our bond pay delegation, I hereby uh, designate uh, the bond pay delegation to, <coughs> to the honor of representing the Congress uh, in our committee to wait on the president. And uh, once again, uh, uh, it's my honor to appoint, designate uh, Vice Speaker Moses to uh, also chair that uh, committee. Okay, uh, please uh, consult with the person for the time and uh, place of your meeting. Speaker, Next, point of privilege. Uh, state your point, uh, Chairman Perman. Thank you very much, Speaker. Uh, good morning to you, members, and our special, and uh, our His Excellency President. Mr. Speaker, can I just ask us to take a minute to remember our Chief Clerk, Luiana Ramon, a moment of silence before we proceed on to our uh, session. If there's no objection, uh, in fact, I was hoping to uh, do that during miscellaneous, but uh, we might as well do it uh, right now. Uh, May we ask, I ask for a moment of uh, silent prayer for uh, 30 seconds. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you still, Speaker. Uh, I still have it. You are still uh, still on the floor. Uh, yeah, um, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want um, members of Congress to please recognize the President of His Excellency, David W. Panuelo, with us this morning. Can we please give him a round of applause?
we also have uh, some of his um, uh, cabinets with us this morning. Um, can we also give them a round of applause? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That's it for now. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Perman. Uh, any other point of privilege at this uh, time? If not, let's uh, continue on our order of business. Uh, next item, Jeffrey. The next item is item five, presidential communications. We are in receipt of numbers 465 to number 480. Okay, assign all those communications, uh, Jeffrey. Next item. Item six, seven, some Supreme Court communications. There are currently no communications, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Item Next seven, item. member. Oh. Item seven, member communications. None also, Mr. Speaker. Next. The next item is item eight, departmental communications. We are in receipt of numbers 21 87 to number 21 90. Okay, assign those uh, to Perk. Next item. Item nine, agency or governmental authority communications. We have one and it's number 21-69. Okay, next item. Item 10, state communications. We have numbers 21-48 and number 21-49. Okay, assign those to work. Next item. Item 11, State Supreme Court Communications. None, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Municipal or Town Communications. None also, Mr. Speaker. Next item. The next item is item 13, Foreign Government Communications. We are in receipt of numbers 21-55 to number 21-58. Okay, assign those, Chief Burke. Next item. Oh, we're now on our order of the day. Chief Burke. Under order of the day for item 14, we have standing committee reports. Uh, there are currently no reports at the moment, Mr. Speaker. Special committee reports? None also, Mr. Speaker. Item 16. For assignment of measures and communications, kindly refer to, to referral sheet number 21-122. Okay. Item 16. Members, chairman and members, review that for planning purposes. Next item. Item 17, unfinished business, none, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 18, Bill Calander, none also, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Resolution Calander, none also, Mr. Speaker. Okay, introduction of bills and resolutions. Uh, if you have any measure to introduce, pass them on to Chief Perk. Next item. For the next item, item item 21, miscellaneous communications, we have one and it's number 21-33. Okay, assign those to Perk. Now, do we have any miscellaneous business? Speaker. Uh, Senator Panik. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, Good morning to you and members. Um, let me also take this opportunity to acknowledge and uh, pay respect to His Excellency President Penuelo. Mr. Speaker, last week, the world watched with dismay and disbelief as an angry mob stormed the heart of the world's most powerful democracy. This was an attack on the very fundamentals of democratic structures and institutions, which FSM subscribes to and believes in. The scene, as we all saw, Mr. Speaker, was disturbing 
warning for all the world's democracies. If this can happen in the United States of America, it can happen anywhere. The United States of Micronesia is a young and fresh democracy with a very special and enduring relationship with the United States. While I have the confidence in the strength of the United States democracy and trust that order will be restored, we as a nation must learn from this sad and dark incident and prevent this from ever happening in our own country and government. I associate myself, Mr. Speaker, and thank uh, President Panuelo for expressing FSM's concern to the people and government of the United States of America while ensuring them, assuring them of our continued support and sympathies. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Senator Palik for a statement. Yes, I think, uh, I do believe all of us joined uh, President Panuelo in the uh, prompt uh, expression of our disappointment and our uh, views and position on what uh, transpired and uh, took place in the <clears throat> in Washington DC it is not something it is so uh, unreal uh, surreal in a way that that kind of uh, incident uh, took place in the heart of democracy in the world in the <clears throat> in the United States and uh, it is our hope that things will uh, improve will uh, uh, become better uh, in the days and weeks and months ahead. So we should join the, the rest of the world in encouraging the U.S. to uh, move forward uh, uh, and seeking uh, unity uh, in that country itself. Uh, thank you, uh, <coughs> Senator Palik, for uh, bringing that up again. Can any other miscellaneous business? Speaker. Yes. Yes, uh, for Leader Harbor. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, first of all, i like to uh, follow the footsteps of uh, Chairman Perman and Vice Chairman Palik in extending my personal greetings to uh, uh, His Excellency David W. Panuelo and his cabinet members who are present in the uh, chamber there or in Bonapace uh, uh, meeting uh, on Zoom. Uh, Speaker, I have nothing uh, important to say during this miscellaneous. I just simply want to ask whether uh, you intend to call a uh, you know, meeting after the session. I think it's good to uh, meet after session so that we can uh, discuss certain things that we may uh, want to uh, uh, provide the uh, awaiting committee to extend to the office of the president when they have the chance to meet uh, with his ex excellency. That's all, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I thank you and happy new year to you, all members and all those who are observing our session this morning, especially our excellency, David Panuelo. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Florida Harbor. Yes, uh, that's uh, normally what we do. Uh, we uh, always get together at uh, the opening day uh, after session to discuss what to add to the uh, subjects or matters that our company to wait will, uh, you know, uh, discuss or take it to the, our uh, president. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Florida. Any other miscellaneous business? Any other miscellaneous business? <clears throat> if none, we will go to announcement. Chairman Wolik. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No announcement from your committee on external affairs. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, Chairman Fakir. Thank you, no announcement. Okay, uh, Chairman Berman. HSA, as of now, no announcement. Okay, German uh, Koonen. Thank you, Speaker. No announcement, Speaker. German Koonen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No announcement from the Special Committee. 
Okay, Vice Chairman uh, Malik. Any no announcement, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Uh, Vice Chairman uh, Aridos. Thank you, Speaker, and announcement. Okay, Vice Speaker uh, Moses and uh, also Chairman of the Committee to Wait. Any announcement? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to you, members. Uh, I would like to also pay my respects to his Excellency President Panuelo and his cabinet. Uh, we have consulted and we will be meeting right after our discussions after session. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, thank you, uh, Vice Speaker uh, Moses. Uh, okay, uh, before we uh, keep it to Florida, I just want to again announce that uh, we will have a sit back uh, uh, after session, uh, immediately after session, so we can uh, discuss our uh, plans for the session and uh, any subject matter that you'd like to uh, <coughs> our committee to wait to uh, take to the president uh, during our the committee to wait <coughs> on the president. Okay, uh, Florida Harbor announcement, and then your uh, usual motion. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Before I uh, make my usual motion, I uh, just want to ask members to remember our two colleagues in our prayers, uh, Senator Rosmal and uh, Romulo. Uh, even though we are all sinners, you know, God doesn't really care who we are as long as we extend uh, our request to him, who is a very loving God, and I believe he can assist us in trying to make those two uh, you know, come back to uh, health. And I, I hope those two will also pray for themselves while they are still in the hospitals. Okay, Mr. Speaker, I now move that we stand in recess and until uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Duke time. Any second? Second. second. It has been moved and seconded that Congress stand in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning, Duke uh, time. Uh, Okay, those in favor of that motion, say hi. Aye. Aye. A motion carried. Congress now stands in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning at Chuk time. <laughs>